Hello friends, I am Dr. Deep Goel. I am a surgeon. I am Director of Department of Surgical Gastroenterology, Minimal Access and Bariatric Surgery. Our department has accredited training program for Minimal Access Surgery and Surgical Gastroenterology by National Board. It is one of its kind department in this part of the world. So today we are going to talk about obesity, overweight, its problems, long term and short term and how do we manage overweight and obesity problems. As all of us know, obesity has gained so much of popularity today because every third person is obese in our country. According to one recent studies, every fourth kid in Delhi is obese. This is a huge problem friends because we are a country of young people. If we do not take measures today, we are going to face its consequences. How do we calculate obesity or overweight? There is a very simple formula called body mass index known as BMI. We calculate BMI by dividing weight in kilogram to height in meter square. Normal BMI is in the range of 18 to 23. Anybody who has BMI of up to 29.9 is supposed to be overweight. And anybody who has a BMI of more than 30 is called obese. Obesity today is in epidemic proportion. It is the largest epidemic world has ever seen. Imagine the magnitude of problem because of obesity. Obesity most often does not come alone. It is associated with many diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, increase cholesterol, decrease fertility, increase pain in the joints, arthritis, increase uric acid. There are various kind of cancers which are more common in people who are obese, especially in women like breast cancer, ovary cancer, uterus cancer, food pipe cancer, stomach cancer, liver cancer, colon cancer. The list is never ending. Also, there is a problem in women called polycystic ovarian disease where the menstrual cycle is not regular. These all are problems associated with obesity. There are various modes like problem of brain where patient can have paralysis, patient can have chronic kidney disease, patient can have stones in the gallbladder, patient can have fatty liver which can in turn leads to fibrosis in the liver, cirrhosis and cancer of liver. My idea is not to scare you but to let you be aware of the problems of obesity. So let's see how we can deal with these problems. Obviously we know that natural method is the best method. If we change our lifestyle where we do physical activity of some sort whether it is brisk walking, whether it is going to gymnasium, whether it is picking up a sport or picking up a hobby like dancing. The idea is to increase your physical activity and develop healthy eating habits. It is of very importance to know that dieting does not constitute in eating healthy. We never advise person to diet but yes we do advise that person should eat healthy in every meal. When we say healthy what it means? It means Focus more on proteins, take high protein diet, less carbohydrate and less fats. Also take care that you get enough nutrients in terms of vitamins. All this will constitute a healthy diet. It is not very difficult. You can contact any nearby nutritionist or dietitian who will be able to guide you what a healthy diet would mean and how you should adapt to it. But the onus is on us to lead a healthy life. For people who become very obese or who are suffering from other diseases associated with obesity like diabetes, hypertension or any other disease which we have just discussed, for them there is an option called bariatric surgery. Bariatric surgery means that we do surgery to reduce fat. There are various kinds of bariatric surgery. I am going to discuss two types which are very common. One is called laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. As all of us know, stomach is like a 
muscular bag. It is stretchable. It can accommodate up to 4 to 5 liters of food which we eat. It also secretes a hormone called ghrelin which is also known as a hunger hormone which makes us hungry which also gives us craving for food. So in laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy we remove roughly 80% of the extra stomach which is stretchable and this is the portion which secretes ghrelin hormone. So now the new stomach is of banana shape. It has very very low capacity so you have to eat very small. In fact you cannot eat more than 40, 50 to 100 ml at one point of time. It also does not have hormone ghrelin which makes you feel hungry. So one gets satiety or feeling of fullness much earlier as compared to normal people. In turn when your eating capacity reduces your calorie intake reduces hence person starts losing weight. That is just one part of the surgery. There are certain neurohormonal changes which happen in this surgery which are beneficial for our body. All these hormonal changes will lead to disappearance of diabetes, resolution of blood pressure, resolution of high cholesterol, resolution of chances of getting cancer, fertility improves, menstrual cycle becomes better, so PCOD improves, obstructive sleep apnea which is a very very important uh, problem, common problem which can be life threatening in some people improves within 7 to 10 days. So it not only reduces your weight but it also helps you in resolving lot of diseases which are present along with obesity itself. I am often asked what are the complications of bariatric surgery? Well, I am going to deal with the complications little later. Let me talk to you about the second procedure which is known as Roux and Y gastric bypass. So laparoscopic gastric bypass is another procedure where we do not staple whole of the stomach but we create a small pouch on the top of the stomach with the capacity of around 35 to 50 ml and we join this pouch with a small intestine. So whatever we are eating goes down directly to the small intestine by bypassing stomach and pancreas. This helps in controlling sugar slightly better as compared to sleeve gastrectomy. This is a very popular procedure also as a sleeve gastrectomy. The job of these two procedures is as I said is to reduce the calorie intake and also to start good hormonal changes in the body which leads to resolution of other diseases which come with obesity. Let's come to complications because there is a myth in the society that bariatric surgery is very dangerous. It has a lot of complications. Well, let me be very frank. I cannot say that this procedure has 0% complications but so is true for any other operation or any other procedure. But the rate of complications is very minimal comparable to any other procedure. So common complications which can happen is bleeding, leakage from the staple line and clotting of the blood in the veins which is called deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. The incidence of these things are between 2 to 5 percent. Most of the times we are able to diagnose bleeding or leakage on table as we test it. But they can also happen in the early post-operative period. We do take adequate precautions to make sure that bleeding and leakage should not happen but obviously I cannot guarantee that there is a 0% chance of that not happening. But the good thing is if bleeding or leakage happens the treatment is available. There are various treatments which are available which can vary from patient to patient, situation to situation but it is manageable. Chances of uh, life risk is around 0.2 percent. It is also comparable to any other procedure commonly done. I think the good thing is that today we have lot of trained teams available in our country who are routinely performing bariatric surgery. One must choose very carefully 
while choosing your team you must remember you have to go to a place which has good infrastructure which has a good team not only in terms of surgeon but in terms of anesthesia in terms of icu care in terms of bariatric nutritionist in terms of physiotherapist all this form a very essential part of any successful bariatric program another common question which we are asked is can i regain weight back answer is yes if you do not inculcate lifestyle changes in your routine there is a possibility that you can regain some of your weight that is why it is very important to be in touch with your treating unit regularly and keep getting inspired to do right things to do some sort of physical activity and to eat right people who keep themselves in follow up with their treating unit have seen to have better results over a period of long term most of our patients after surgery when they come back to us the common thing which they say is doc sub this is a new life which we have got and it is so true because you are able to do so many things now which you were not able to do before but you will be surprised that we get patients we get couples who are staying together but they have not had sex for last 3 to 4 years because of obesity after bariatric surgery the sexual life improves drastically the hormones which are responsible for better sexual life improves drastically another common question which we are asked is can a young lady become pregnant after bariatric surgery well the answer is yes the chances of girls becoming pregnant post bariatric surgery are in fact higher because because of obesity sometimes your fertility is down and you are not able to conceive we have had so many instances where our patients who were not able to conceive before surgery have conceived after bariatric surgery well this is a second life my friends one has to learn to live healthily not make mistakes which you have made in the first life so i would appeal that whenever you choosing bariatric surgery i think it is also very important in your mind to think that you have to follow certain lifestyle changes which are not difficult it's only in the mind and when i say lifestyle changes i only mean by doing some sort of physical activity on daily basis and eating healthy i wish you all the best in your endeavor to live healthily thank you friends to know more please subscribe to our youtube channel BLK Super Speciality Hospital a passion for healing